what it do it's your favorite texas boy and we back with another video and today we are here we're gonna talk about kind of like a touchy subject today um but i think it's very important that we touch on it um so people can kind of understand the mindset and what's going on gringo go home it's a very popular statement um you will find in puerto rico um for good reason and um let's kind of just get into it so first and foremost i'm sure the main question is am i a gringo what is a gringo well by technical definition if you want to say a technical definition yes i am a gringo a gringo is technically by technical definition someone who is in a latin country or a country of hispanic you know descent um and is a foreigner and is not from there um what i've come to find out is that the term gringo is not race specific you can be black white asian uh whatever indian uh middle eastern anything from a foreign land or anyone who is a foreigner who is not born on the country land can be considered a gringo all right now technically this is a negative terminology that they apply to those that they feel come um with a certain type of mindset right uh and you know we're gonna dive more into that in a little bit but it's a certain type of mindset that is applied to the term gringo so again if we're gonna go by the technical term am i a gringo yes i would be considered a gringo i was not born in puerto rico uh, i don't speak fluent puerto rican spanish yet uh, so if you want to be technical yes but that is not how they treat you out here based off the race part it's more of the energy right so in my personal opinion i don't think gringo is attached to any specific race or person it's attached to an energy i think the term gringo is more of a energy that you put out um and it doesn't get a good response down here which rightfully so if you know the history of puerto rico uh the history of colonization uh the african slave trade oppression all of the different things that they've dealt with um from those from u.s uh i'm sorry from british descent uh from spanish descent all of the different slave trades and things like that um you understand it so gringo is more of an energy right are you coming to puerto rico in an entitled state of mind are you coming to Puerto Rico with an oppressive state of mind that you're here to basically gentrify Puerto Rico and, you know, use up all its resources on a large scale to where it actually affects the, the, the people who actually live here. Um, it's the energy of taking advantage of Puerto Rico, Puerto Ricans and their culture. Um, and this term is also used in other uh, Latin countries and um, Hispanic dialects. Uh, but it's basically someone who has a colonizer's mindset. Um, gringo is an energy of a colonizer's mindset. And if you know the history of colonization and the slave trade, nobody wants that. Even, um, and that's also why you can find a lot of similarities in uh, African-American culture in um, our mindset in regards to slavery, uh, colonization, gentrification, oppression, all of those things, they have a very similar mindset because they went through it as well. Um, they understand what it's like, uh, the disparity between uh, Caucasian culture um, and ethnic culture. They understand that disparity because they've been through it as well. So, um, gringo is a term that most people would use for an outsider who's bringing bad energy, who's not bringing the correct energy to the island. 
excuse the noise as I'm moving through the city. Um, so I don't personally believe everyone that is not from Puerto Rico is a gringo. It's everyone who comes with that oppressive, entitled, disrespectful, full of evil, basically, energy. And you're only coming over here to abuse the resources um, and basically, you know, put the people of the island in uncomfortable living. That's a gringo. That's gringo energy. That's what will cause you to have a bad response or get treated a certain way uh, when you come out to Puerto Rico. Because in all, they're super, super, super nice people. Excuse this noise. I'm gonna try to go around this way because they doing construction or something. The Puerto Rican culture by nature, they're just super, super nice people, right? They're super accepting. They're super loving, caring, passionate, uh, especially about the things that they involve themselves in and they connect themselves to. <clears throat> super honorable, got a lot of respect. Um, so yeah, they're not going to be disrespectful unless you be disrespectful. They're not going to, you know, take it there unless you give them a reason to take it there. But that's anybody. Just be respectful, assimilate, learn the culture, understand why they feel this way. Do your research, read a book. It helps, you know, um, again, this is a very touchy subject out here because, you know, anybody falls into the category hell i found out <laughs> if you can be technically of hispanic culture uh latin culture and still be called a gringo if you don't know spanish if you can't speak spanish and you know you're not really tapped in with the culture they might still call you a gringo as a hispanic person so understand that it's not race specific the term gringo in my opinion is not race specific it's energy specific. What energy are you bringing to the island? Is it a positive energy? Is it a negative energy? Are you here to just take advantage? Are you here to actually help bring, um, you know, help with the same thing as if you was living in the United States or whatever country you're living in? Do you provide help? Do you live, lend a helping hand when you can? Are you here to make change and make things better to the best of your abilities for everybody? Do you bring that positive energy? So that's really what it's all about. Um, I don't believe they're telling me to go home, right? Me personally, I feel like I've built a lot of good relationships out here. Uh, I believe that the Puerto Rican culture has been very accepting of me uh, as I make my way through um this journey of mine uh and so i appreciate the puerto rican culture for accepting me throughout this in, this journey of mine uh because i love it you know what i'm saying i'm having a good time out here you know just sharpening my skills broadening my horizons just becoming a better person so i i, I like it and so when i hear the term gringo i do not feel like it's being spoken to me but I do know who they're talking to. And it's that energy. It's that oppressive energy, that um, that entitled energy, uh, like somebody owes you something out here. It don't work like that. So gringo, go home. <laughs> but everybody else, you cool to stay. I agree with it too, I can't lie. So I just wanted to touch on that. It's a touchy subject, but hey, it's a part of life and you know, you got to dive into it. So don't come out here with that gringo energy. You'll be good to the next video. Peace.